And the death toll from the Maui wildfires is now at 101. The governor of Hawaii says those numbers are expected to climb as rescue crews have only covered a small percentage of the island. In the meantime, the island recovers from the disaster. The Chicago area organizing multiple relief efforts. NBC5 Sandra Torres joining us now live from O'Hare International Airport to tell us more about that. Sandra. Good morning, Michelle. There are two major efforts happening today in the Chicago area, at least that we know of. One of them is happening here out of O'Hare International Airport. United Airlines is filling up an aircraft later today filled with supplies and sending it to Maui. And so donations have already been pouring into the island of Maui with local churches stepping up. Here in Chicago, though, United has teamed up with several organizations to send a large shipment of canned goods, baby formula, even baby care kits and hygiene kits for use in shelters that have been put in place on the island. That flight leaves at 4 p.m. today. Also happening today, the Northern Illinois Food Bank. They're set to 40, send 41 pallets of dry goods from Aldi in partnership with Feeding America. The full truckload will leave for California today and then it'll be shipped to the Hawaii Food Bank in the coming days. And this comes as President Biden approved a federal disaster declaration for Maui, which makes federal funding available to aid the recovery. I spoke with the president this morning. We speak often. He and Joe Biden extend their absolute love and heartfelt uh, regrets about the tragedy that's occurred. They're heart sick that we've lost these 101 souls. And if you're wondering how you can help with the governor of Hawaii says monetary donations are being accepted for the Hawaii Community Foundation and the American Red Cross to help those communities affected. Now back here at O'Hare Airport, United Airlines says that flight that's headed to Maui today with supplies, well, it's also expected to return full with passengers who've been trying to get out of Hawaii for the past day, few days uh, since disaster struck. Reporting live here at O'Hare Airport, Sandra Torres, NBC5 News.